Just days before the general election last year, the Dakota Scout broke a story about then Senate candidate Joel Koskin facing a sexual grooming child abuse charge. Just in those few months, the nature of the case and the penalty Koskin could face have continued to change with more expected tomorrow. State House reporter Austin Goss gives us a look back and a look ahead. Disgraced former Republican state Senate candidate Joel Koskin will come to the Hughes County Courthouse Tuesday to stand once more before Judge Margo Northrup. Koskin, age 44, will appear to have alternate charges read to him for the first time. Judge Northrup rejected a heavily criticized plea deal last month that would not have required Koskin to serve any prison time, nor to register as a sex offender. This court appearance comes ahead of one that was scheduled to take place on May 15th of next month. Koskin and his attorney have remained silent throughout the saga. Last month, it was ordered by the court that Koskin be removed from his kids and not live with anyone under the age of 18 after taking a psychosexual evaluation. The results of that will not be made public. It's expected Tuesday that Koskin will enter into the plea agreement offered to him by the state. That hearing will start at 10 a.m. local time. In Pierre, I'm Austin Goss. 60-year-old Dean Russell Shallenkamp of Deadwood was sentenced today for the possession of child pornography. Prosecutors requested he serve 78 months behind bars based on several factors, including the fact that more than 8,000 photos were found, not including videos, images described as girls as young as three or four. His defense requested the minimum five-year sentence. They claim Shallenkamp understood his wrongdoing and took full accountability for his actions and is seeking help. Judge Jeffrey Viken sentenced him to five years in federal prison due to his support system, his lack of a criminal history, and his accountability and willingness to change and seek support.